Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Kaylee and these are my books. Oh god. So the month of September is special because I decided to actually do Bookopoly, um, Bookopolathon, and therefore doing Bookopoly for Bookopolathon and my normal TBR game, TBR Land. So Bookopoly... Bookopoly is already up on my channel where I made a Bookopoly board and I did some dice rolls and chose some books for my TBR based off of the prompts I got in that game. However, it was fairly nice to me. I don't want to spoil exactly what happened in that video, but it made me confident enough where I'm like, I could do both games this month. So I'm also doing my TBR Land game in this video, which is a TBR game based off of Candyland. I've already done this once before on my channel, which it will be linked below that video, along with the Bookopoly video I've just mentioned. Now, because I'm doing two TBR games on my channel, I am allowing myself to occasionally double up on some of the books. Therefore, there are two books that got chosen for TBR land that also were chosen for Bookopoly, but only two books overlap and therefore I think it's okay. I don't feel bad about two books overlapping and the two books that overlap are kind of longer too, so we're fine with it. The rest of the books for this video, because spoiler alert, I've already done the TBR game, are brand new. So even if you've already seen my Bookopoly, you already know two of the books I'm talking about, but you don't know the rest. So still, this video should be fun for you to watch. Now let's cut to me playing my TBR land game. All right, so the first card pull, we have a double green. So we skip this green and go on to this green. So our first TBR land is a favorite author, thriller, or horror book. The first space I landed on was a favorite author in the thriller and horror section of my game, which means I have to choose a thriller or horror book that is by one of my favorite authors. And for this prompt, I'm choosing Ruth Ware's It Girl. I love Ruth Ware, especially The Turn of the Key and One by One. However, I really enjoyed all of her books. I've read all of the ones that she's published and they all range from three to five stars for me, so none of them I disliked. Therefore, I do count Ruth Ware as one of my favorite thriller authors, and this is the only book from her I have not read yet, so I'm excited to read this one. Next card pull, we have a single green. So we move to here, and now we have a thriller or horror novella. The next space I landed on was a thriller or horror novella, and for this I am choosing Gone to See the River Man. This is a horror novella that I've heard is incredibly disturbing. I saw Katrina from Katrina Brown read this in one of her recent videos, which will be linked below, and she really enjoyed it. However, she does warn everyone that this is incredibly disturbing, so I am intrigued. I think this is a horror novella about a woman who is one of those weirdos that falls in love with serial killers in jail and writes back and forth with them and I think she eventually meets him and disturbing stuff happens. If you've seen many of my videos you know I love books about serial killers. I find them so entertaining and to hear that this horror novella is about a serial killer I am instantly intrigued. Next card pull. One blue. So move over to a Goodreads thriller or horror. The next spot I landed on was a Goodreads spot in the thriller and horror section, which basically means I need to type in one of my favorite thriller or horror books on Goodreads, scroll down to the readers also enjoyed section and choose a book from that section to read. So I chose Jar of Hearts on Goodreads and I'm gonna scroll down. And here I have the readers also enjoyed section and it looks like there's a lot from Frida McFadden and Kirsten Moglin on here along with an Alice Feeney. Hmm, I, I'm debating between the Alice Feeney his and hers or the arrangement by Kirsten Moglin because I've heard Good things about the arrangement and I've wanted to try this author but then Alice Feeney I love her books the two that I've read Daisy Darker and Rock Paper Scissors I think I'm gonna go with his and hers actually by Alice Feeney I'm excited to read Alice Feeney's backlist because I discovered her from her Rock Paper Scissors book and I know that was one of her newer books and she has a couple books that I haven't read there for so for this choice I am going with his and hers by Alice Feeney Next card pull, two pinks, so we 
skip this pink and move on to here. So we have a backlist, fantasy, or sci-fi. The next spot I landed on was a backlist for fantasy or science fiction. And for this, I am choosing Red Sister. This is definitely a backlist. It was, let's see, when was it published? I think it was published in 2017, it looks like. So not super recent, not super old either, but still counts as backlist. And this is about a group of assassin nuns. And I don't need to know anything else. That sounds really fun. Next card pull, one purple. So we move up one to a fantasy or sci-fi recent release. Next was I landed on a recent release fantasy or science fiction. So I am going with Dragon Mage. This was released in 2021, so fairly recent. Not the same year. I mean, we are in 2022, but it's recent enough for the way that I'm going to throw it in for this prompt. This is one I also got in Bookopoly, and it's like 800 pages long, so I definitely needed to double up on some books to make sure I can get through it. Next card pull, one pink, Teddy's Choice of a Fantasy or Sci-Fi. The next spot I landed on was Teddy's Choice for Fantasy or Science Fiction. Teddy is my dog, and basically I put three books on the ground for him to choose between with a treat on each book, and whatever treat he ate first corresponds with whatever book I pick for this choice. And I'm going to cut to the footage of him choosing the book now. You're allowed to take it, it's okay. <laughs> he thinks he's not supposed to touch it. Oh, there he goes, blood rights it is. Good boy. <laughs> you can eat all of the treats. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> I did have Red Sister in that footage. I originally had a different book for my backlist picked out and therefore I put Red Sister in Teddy's Choice, but then I realized that Red Sister counts as a backlist book and Teddy didn't choose it and I really wanted to read it so I switched it into the backlist choice section. So sorry that this was in there. I realized just now that there's a continuity error. My bad, I don't wanna make Teddy choose again. He already ate three treats during this video, so I don't need to give him any more. So it doesn't matter either, anyway though, because Teddy did end up choosing um, Blood Rights by Jim Butcher. This is a um, book six, I believe, book seven. I'm, I'm not sure, it's fairly, it's like we're in the middle of the series. This is the book I'm currently on for the Wizard Detective series. This is about um, Harry Dresden, a wizard detective. Each book follows a different mystery that Harry Dresden is having to solve. However, as the books have progressed, the world is getting wider and wider, and there are there is a bigger plot that we're now following as well. So while there, each book is unique in that there's a new mystery in each book, they are pretty interrelated, and it's behaving more like a traditional fantasy series at this point in the series. I really like this series, and I'm excited to continue on, so good job, Teddy. Next card pull, double purple. So we're skipping this one and going into KU. So a KU romance. The next prompt I got was a KU romance, and for this I'm going with Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. This is the last book in the Twisted series. I have read all the of the other three and the book two and book three, I gave five stars each. So I'm very excited to finish off the series with Twisted Lies, get that sense of completion from finishing a series and also excited because I loved book two and book three so much that maybe book four will be a favorite too. I scooted the board down so you can see it better, but next card pull is one purple. So we're moving up to a serial killer or kidnapping romance. The next prompt I got was a serial killer or kidnapping romance, and for that I am going with There Are No Saints by Sophie Lark. This is a serial killer and a kidnapping romance, I believe. Also a stalker romance. Just all the toxic things that could happen, I believe, happen in this book. I'm very ex excited um, for this wild range of emotions I'm sure I will feel during this toxic relationship, this dark romance. And I think Sophie Lark is so cool, and so I'm excited to read another one of her books. Next card poll one pink a reverse harem romance the next prompt i landed on was reverse harem so for this prompt i am reading hate um by madison kate sorry i mean hate by tate james and it is book one in the madison kate series this is a reverse harem book i don't know much beyond that i do know it's really popular it's on kindle unlimited 
and I don't really want to know anything else so sorry if I'm not giving you a ton of information about the plot in this video but I prefer going into books kind of blind and therefore I don't want to look up the synopsis. I can tell you that it has an average rating of 4.29 on Goodreads and that it is a dark college hate to love romance. So sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun to read. You know I love a school setting. Next card pull, hopefully our last card pull, let's see. One purple, nope. A TikTok romance, so basically I need to go on TikTok and see what romance they recommend me. Okay, the next spot I landed on was TikTok in the romance section, so this basically means TikTok picks my read for romance. And basically what I did for this, because TikTok is on my phone usually, and I film on my phone, I can't have my personalized feed. I did sign into my account on TikTok on this um, uh, tablet, but it doesn't feel personalized, so I don't know if it's by device or not. But basically, I just typed in book talk into the search bar, and I am going to watch the first video on here, which is the, the most popular video, and we're going to see what books they recommend us, and I'm going to choose based off the books in this video of which one I read. All right, so this video has a ton of recommendations in it because it's basically just flashing a bunch of books for each trope so i'm gonna pick base off of the trope so this first one is you want a guy that's sweet and it has books with guys that are supposed to be sweet in it i do not want a guy that's sweet so we're moving past this one uh, the next one is a guy that's tough and so i'm guessing like big strong guy type of dude um so we have the wall of winnipeg and me we have The Son of Neptune, All Roads Lead Here um, by Mar Mariana Zapata, same with The Wall of, Win of Winnipeg and Me, and Exodus. So those are some options. I want to see what other tropes she has, though, because a guy that's tough, I don't know, that's not necessarily something I'm like looking for in romance books. The next one is a feminist who likes to pay for stuff, and there is a book in here I've been thinking about reading, which is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. So that is a strong contender at this point, the fine print. We'll see if that's what we stick with though. The next one is a kind of guy that gets along with your friends. And eh, not super interested in that trope, we're gonna move past it. The next one is a good boy, not interested. Next one, I don't know exactly which ones are which, but it's a good boy and a bad boy. So maybe they're both good and bad at the same time. And this, these books interest me because we have Brutal Prince, which I'm reading in August. I haven't read it yet, but I will be reading it before the end of August. And there, there's Twisted Lies on here, which I've already had on this TBR. And there's There Are No Saints, which I've already had on this TBR. So the only one left on here is Hooked. And I've really been wanting to read Hooked. And it would be satisfying to be able to read all four of the books that are on this section for a good boy and a bad boy. So right now we're debated between Fine Print and Hooked. Another book I'm interested that pops up on here for the Is a Great Lover section is the Penelope Douglas Birthday Girl because also in this section is the Kiss Quotient, Twisted Games, and Twisted Hate. And twi Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, and the Kiss Quotient all got five stars for me. So we're only left with Birthday Girl in this section. So now I'm debated between Fine Print, Birthday Girl, and Hooked. All right, that was the end of the video. So this video was fantastic, by the way. Um, I will leave a link to the TikTok that I watched in this um, video description. I think I'm ultimately going to go for Hooked. I've been wanting to read that for so long. It's a Peter Pan retelling dark romance. And it's by Emily McIntyre. I'll have it up on the screen here. I'm pretty sure Riley from Riley Marie read this book and really loved it. And ever since then, I've been wanting to read it too. So September is the month. We're reading a Peter Pan retelling. Dark romance, Peter Pan retelling. The dark romance part is an important part. Next card pull, double blue, which means we made it to the mood read. So I have 10 books on my TBR from TBR land and I only own three of them. So here's the three right here. It looks like I have a small TBR, but I do have 10. Um, and I am really excited about all of these. Which ones am I most excited about? I'm most excited about Hooked, I think. And uh, I think Red Sister too, Assassin Nuns just sounds really, really cool. Least excited, 
I don't think I'm the least excited about any of these. I'm really pumped for my entire TBR this month. There are There is a book that I'm not super excited about that's on my book Obli TBR, but for this TBR land TBR, I am stoked about all of them. Now the question is, can I get through all these books? I'm gonna try my best. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give me a like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you next time. Bye.